Do you have a Jeep with an automatic transmission that won't shift down into passing gear? Well, stay tuned because I've got a $6 part that may be the cure for your problems. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to attempt to fix the TV cable that's on my Grand Cherokee. This repair should work from 93 to 98 with a 5.2 or 5.9. Um, I didn't want to buy the whole cable because the end of it's broken off. You can just see right here. Uh, whenever I bought it, this was broke off and I believe somebody broke it off by accident because if you'll remember some of the early videos, it didn't run when I got it and there was a lot of stuff being monkeyed with back behind the engine and I'm thinking that it just got broken off during that process. So what we've got here is we've got a, a cable end replacement piece. It looks like a 3D printed piece from uh, Taboo Customs. So we're gonna put this on. We gotta take the old broken end off first. So let me do that and then we'll stick this on and I'll show you how it goes. All right, I've already got part of this broke off. Just got to work at it a little bit. And do your best to not mess up the actual wire rope. It's there, or the cable, let me say that. I'm saying wire rope like it's a winch cable or something. And we can see the end of the cable. That's what we're trying to get out of there. Uh-oh. Come on. There we go. Hey, look at there. We got it. I'm looking at so many different places. The camera, that one moving, what I'm doing. All right, there we go. That's it right there. Now, now what we've got to do is we'll have to slip this cable. I believe this is called a ferrule on the end. I'm not sure. Anyway, there's a recess in the part. We gotta put that ferrule in here. Cable slips through there. This actually slips onto the throttle arm. Pretty ingenious little design. So, let's get that popped in there. All right. A tight fit, which is good because you don't want this thing slipping out. There we go. Now it's not going to come out. Now this part slips into the groove, snaps right in place. Now it works like it should. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. Um, it literally, from start to finish, took me about five minutes. Um, I don't know about these Chrysler transmissions, but I do know that on the Ford, like the LTD here, if that cable comes undone, you can burn the transmission up in a hurry. I don't think that's such a problem with these, but you do get drivability issues whenever you're going up hills or trying to pass someone or something like that where you mat the gas and it just really doesn't go anywhere because it won't kick down a gear. This little part's gonna fix that. Um, so transmission should work perfectly normal now. Um, I didn't even have to take my good clothes off to put it on. So this particular part that I installed works on the Grand Cherokee ZJ. It works on the Grand Cherokee WJ, and it also works on the Wrangler TJ. Um, he also makes another one that I really, I can't remember what he said that it fits, but I'll leave a link in the description to this part, and you can go cruise around on his website and find the other one. And if it's the part that you need for your particular vehicle, he may have you covered on that one too. As of the filming, the part was $5.99 on their website plus shipping. So, uh, Hey, if you go over there, tell them you saw this video, let them know. So, um, 
we might work together on some things in the future but uh as of right now i'm really happy to have this part on there and i do have some other parts from them to put on the dana 60 that i've got that's going to go in this jeep but uh that'll be a video for a later date but until then thanks guys for watching and we'll see you next time